Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. I've got shopping. I did do one purchase. I've been seeing everybody uh, buying the sales. I did go and take a look at the Hershner's, the $9 cakes that everybody's buying. It's like, nah, I didn't make it. There's none there now, but there's people on eBay selling them and there's people on Etsy selling them that bought them. So, uh, but what I did do because a lot of other people can't. I did get an ice yarn shipment. And uh, so I can share it with everybody and I can use it. So I did get some stuff that I like too. Um, I just sent some out in my last four boxes I just sent out. So um, none of it's a mystery except there are some variety packs and... I have my, let me move this. I have my screen up. Whoa. I want to make this small. Let's see. There we go. I have my screen up so I can uh, see it, see what I've got. And still see myself. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Put that there, and where am I? Oh, I'm right there. Okay, cool. Here we go. Let's put me over there. See? Hey, the magic of uh, electronics. I know enough to be dangerous. Yeah, I've deleted a few things on accident before. Thank goodness the trash is still there. So, okay. Um, box is 34 pounds. Big. They pack it so nice. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to take a look at the list. And the list has colors. The order form has colors, not just numbers. So I might be able to tell you actually what the colors are. So I do have some variety bags. And okay, let me move this a little bit. I did buy some, some specific things. And then I did buy some mixed lots, they call it. There's some mixed lots. Most of the things I just bought one because there's so many multiple balls in it. So I thought I'd go ahead and do this. And I didn't, did I buy more rainbow? No, I didn't buy the rainbow, the Picasso. I bought something different. I have Picasso and I've bought it and I wanted to buy some other things that I didn't have. So I did get some other stuff. So, okay, let's see. They, they package them really nice in these big bags. So... I can get them out. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh my God. Okay. I may not know what's in it. <laughs> the dogs are all like, where's my spot? Okay. Okay, let's get this one open. They do sort of air seal it a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. This is a very thin one in a coppery gold color. And does it have a number on it? Yeah, it's Visco Star Black Orange. Now, I bought this one because Halloween's coming. And I really, really would love to make my daughter-in-law one of those... Um, you know, those those shawls with the skeletons in them. And I thought this would be very cool looking for Halloween because Halloween's a really big deal here in um, Utah. So the Visco Star Orange, there are six of them and it was $4, $3.99. So I'm going to write down how many I have. So there's six. And I got a thing over here to throw them in. Yeah, it's very, it's like a, probably a two, but it has a little shiny in it and it's uh, orange and black. So that's all I've got on that. This, it does have a name on it. This is very thin. This is custom blend gold and white. This has, 
This looks like it's kind of a two. And there's eight little balls. I might not be able to find them in here. It might take too long. I don't because there's a lot of stuff in here. Um Yeah, if it starts taking too long. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to just kind of go through it. Anyway, this is Custom Blend Gold and White. It's green with gold and white, and it's very small. It's like a two. This would be very nice for a shawl very lightweight it would be really drapey it's very pretty um oh this is a picasso this is a lilac and white i didn't get any more i just got this one this would be really pretty the um some blues and whites and, and lavenders a little bit of shine Okay, this is a self-striping, and it's called Condre Gray Shades, and I believe these were, uh, three of these for $5.99. I haven't been writing this down. Let me see, that was eight, that's six. Eight and eight, that's six. Okay. And this is a worsted. So I like getting the worsted because then I feel comfortable buying. Somebody else said that they start preferring three. So it's very possible. I may like threes once I start working with them. It's just that on a big project, Threes take longer, and that's where they lose me. So, um, yeah, this is just some grays and sand color. Okay, that's three. And let's see, this looks like a mixed bunch. Oh, this is bulky. This is, oh, they wrote a number on here. 72254. And it's... Uh, Mixed lot, maybe. 72254. Yeah, this would be a plain mixed lot. So. Seven two two five four. Uh, I don't see a 5-4, but I've got some uh, miscellaneous lots that were like $2.99 for these three, a dollar a ball, right? And this is a bulky, I would say this is a bulky. It's pretty, it's pretty thick, but it's a, a beige, a green, and a, looks like a brown. Stop. No, it's a purple. Ooh, look at that. It's a purple, a green. And a cream color. So these would still go together if the if it was so inclined. So there's three of those. The bug can't jump up on the couch. Okay. All right. Okay, come on. All righty, here we go. Let's see. There's two more that are mixed, are these the same? No, they're a little bit different. These are mixed lots, two, seven, two, two, five, four. Okay, I must've got a few of them. So this one is like a gold uh, uh, rose and a blue, a navy blue. And this is still like a large four. So those would be a dollar a piece. And there's three of those. Same thing here, but there's like two of these gold ones. 
And this one is like a, a poodle. Like a poodle boucle. Let's see. It's a gray. It's a dark gray. It looks like a, a, a boucle. The other ones look um, gold. Okay, now the mix lots don't have stickers on them. I guess. So there's five, three more. And here is one with a sticker, which means it was bought on purpose. It's a sale, a plain mixed lot. And this one has a neon orange, a gray, and a green. And this is definitely uh, three, four-ish. Looks like a four. Those other look like th fives. So, yeah. I Yeah, I don't have anything else on them. It's made in Turkey. It has telephone numbers. This one, it, 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 if I can get to the spot, this one's 100% acrylic. So on the label, it will say what's on it, but I can't always see the label. I don't want to open them right now. So there's three more. Now I'm counting them because I'm going to figure out how much they are per ball when we get done. Okay. This would be... Um, Another mixed lot, and this looks like two blacks. This looks like two blacks, and then there's like this creamy, like newsprint with some gray and some cream and brown in it, which wouldn't look too bad with it with each other, except you'd have to weave in ends. That's why I buy colors that are mixed, so I don't they change, but I don't have to weave in ends. So there's one, two, three, and oh, here's some mixed lot that has, is this a mixed one? Yeah, mixed lot. It has white and then a uh, really pretty variegated with a brown and a green, like a forest. That's very pretty. And then the snow white, that's very nice. And this is definitely a between a three and four. Okay. I love these bags because I can use them for trash. Okay, put that over there. Now we got another one. We have three of these. So these are each about 10 pounds a piece or 11 pounds a piece. And so, okay. There's another, this is another mixed lot, matches the other one. So that's perfect. That's twice as much yarn. That is great. This, does it say what it is? It says acrylic. So that's perfect. This I bought on purpose. This is gorgeous. Look at this lime greens and yellows. That is very cool. And this one would be... <gasps> Where is this one? It should be all yellow. Mm. Four times Camaro green shades, green and white, four dollars, a dollar a piece. Very cool. Definitely a fourish. Very. This will look very pretty worked up. Okay. This is a bulky yarn. Look at this. This looks like a five or a six even. Does this have a number? It says winter mixed lot because we're almost in August. So winter yarn will be coming out for projects. So there's a, a tan, there's like a, a tan, a camel, and a navy blue and a black. So these are all four different colors. And what's it say here for winter mixed lots? Let me see. Mixed lot. 
Winter, $3 for four balls, even less. Okay, that up there. Now, these I bought on purpose. I thought this was gorgeous. Look at that. There's two of these balls, or these cakes. This is called gold, but it's kind of an orange. And these are two of them for $2.99 a piece, $3 a piece for these cakes. Um, let's see if I can see where it says how much there is. Um... The hundred percent acrylic it says sale yarn. One hundred sixty meters, so three fifty ish yards, maybe three three twenty five. Very pretty orange, and ooh. Oh, I must have bought this one on purpose. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh, there's purples in there. This is called Purple Lilac Fuchsia White and Beige. <laughs> and it is beautiful. $6 for four of these. Um, Self-striping 100 grams, 90 meters for four so that's about almost three sixty meters it looks like a five it also looks kind of splitty so we shall see if i keep this you know what i've been mine all those furls hooks and furls is an inline where it's more pointy at the tip and at the back of the hook where it goes in and comes out because it's all the same size. It just cuts into it. And a lot of the other ones are tapered where they're just, everything's kind of rounded. Well, you know, being a shopper and not an expert crocheter or really experienced in crochet at all, I'm finding I don't like the furls hooks. Yeah, I know. What a predicament, huh? <laughs> <laughs> thank god i don't pay full price for them <laughs> i won't use them every once in a while and they end up splitting my yarn and i like the ones that are more rounded better so i might i might do is find out what the really nice sets are that are the tapered ones and maybe invest in a really good set of those maybe you guys can tell me which are the best ones that are tapered i like the metal ones the metal hooks because they're very smooth. So let me know if it's the, um, some people like the, um, I don't know, Susan Bates. I've had Susan Bates hooks that I don't like, but some people are talking about the cram. Well, the Odyssey, the Furls Odyssey is supposed to be awesome, but they don't sell them anymore. I would have to go find some somewhere in the black market if I wanted to get some of those. So, but let me know if there's some metal ones that are tapered that are Awesome. Okay, we have, oh yeah. This would be summer light orange. This is t-shirt yarn. I bought some t-shirt yarn because I keep watching Julie make all those baskets and I want to make baskets. So I have lots of things to do to make baskets. I have cord that I can crochet around to make them stiffer. I also have that, all that tape yarn. I, um, I now have t-shirt yarn, it looks like. This is t-shirt yarn. Um, summer light orange, yeah, this is it. Two of these and $3 for two of these. This would be, 70% cotton and 30% nylon, 100 meters. So there's 200 meters of this t-shirt yarn. Um, 
Ooh, this is the same as that other stuff, but look, it's got purple with flashes of green in it. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. What do they call this one? Neon green. Oh, it's called Kansas neon green. Wow. That is cool. I like that one. Where's that? Oh, there's four of these and it's $6 for these four. That is very cool. I like purple and green together. Purple, green, orange, yellow. I love those colors. Okay. And there's another one of these. I guess I must have got a couple of these. Another one of that purple, lilac, fuchsia, white, and beige. Oh. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, it looks like the same one. Oh, no. This is the beige and white. Okay. So it has purple in it, too. But it just says it's beige and white. Same thing. This is $3 for four balls. And I got... Apparently, I got two more of these yarns, that gold one, that bright orangish one. So I must have got two more of these. Um, yeah, I did. These were three dollars, dollar fifty for each of these balls. I got two two bags, and each bag has two of them in it. So, yeah, like a dollar seventy for each of these cakes. Very cool. This is definitely a five. Love this. I love making hats out of this stuff. Okay, let's see. And this, ooh, did I buy this on purpose? Cake yarn pastel. This looks like yucky little baby yarn. <laughs> very thin and fuzzy oh this is very thin this would be good for the lovies to put this with another yarn a little thicker a three or a four because it would add that little fuzzy to it and that would make it really cute this is called two sail cakes yarn pastel rainbow dollar fifty for each of these yeah, and I got another one over here. And this one is, yeah, I'll take this one out so you can see it better. It's really, it's kind of, look at this. Yeah, look at that. Oh, got to mix this with something else. But this will make a, this would be really cool, like in a baby blanket or a, with a lovey, because it's got all this little fur fuzzy thing on it, but it doesn't come off. It's kind of a boucle kind of, but it's real skinny. Um, and this one, this one is yarn, pink, orange, teal, and camel. So it has some camel and blue and orange and just all kinds of colors. This would look good with uh, some of those teddy bears, loveys, um, some of the darker color loveys. This would look real good because of the, the dark blue, brown, and the orange in there, kind of a fall. That That's very good. But I still have all those. It's in my honeydew list, which I haven't got to yet. I'm picking, my projects are too big for my um, mystery on town taking too long to do them. Okay, now this is done. I can put the box on the floor and the dog will be bowing. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, one minute. Okay, there you go. Oh, she wanted her toy and she kept trying to jump up and kept falling down poor baby okay all right this last one so this would be some more four weight 
in a green. This is called Hopewell Green. And this is uh, $6, $2 a ball. And this would be, does it say? I don't know. This says it's a, yeah, it's a four weight, but 280 meters. Wow, that's a lot. It's acrylic. Wow. 280 meters in each one. That's a lot. That's like 700 meters. Three balls. That's pretty good. Did I miss one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, I didn't do the other ones. Okay. Now I have some skinny yarn. This is kind of skinny. This is called Yorktown Blue. And there's four of these and they're a dollar a piece. This is very squishy. It is a three. 210 meters it's cotton and acrylic and i've been wanting some cotton because i saw i really you know what i really want to do is i really want to start making those little um those coasters that go in the flower pot and then they look like a flower i'd love to make those for gifts for christmas this year because those are adorable people will love them and they shouldn't take too long because it's just making lots of little round things. And I really need to use cotton. So I did buy a bunch of cotton. And I have some cotton that I've set aside to use for that. Um, so I can do them in different colors and such. And I may still pick up some more cotton. Because I'm not sure how much it's going to take. So that would be... What was that? Four. Four. And here's one that's a, a mix. This is a mix and self-striping yarn mixed a lot. This is $15. And it doesn't look like self-striping, but it's like gray and pink and red. There are 16 balls. And uh, it looks like a five and a, and a one. <laughs> the gray one. Definitely a gift or mixed with something else. And then there's more of that. I've got eight more of those gray ones and three more of those pink ones. So that's interesting. I would think that could be a good um, winter. This gray stuff could be good winter. So that's 12. And there's more of it. I must have got a bunch of these. I got a $19.99 pack, a $15 pack, and another $15 pack. And I, this must be all of them. <laughs> it must be all in this stuff, which is okay, because then I have more of it, or I can uh, gift it to somebody that likes to use this, and then they would have more. So there's um, 4, 8, 12, 15... There's 15 in there. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I got me some neon. I got a neon orange and like some pumpkin. This would be winter, I'm pretty sure. It mixed lot. It says plain mixed lot. So this is a four. And it's like, yeah, it's like pumpkin colors. This would be great for fall. There's a bright one in the middle and then a couple of cinnamon, uh, pumpkin spice lattes on the edges. So that's um, 
the acrylic, I do not believe I got any wool on purpose. So, oh, and here's another one. Oh my God, this is a mixed lot. Oh, this is cool. This is not the self-striping. This would be the acoustic yarns mixed lot. There's supposed to be 40 balls. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20. Oh my gosh, look at this. They're little balls, pink and green and teal. Oh, this is very cool. They're just like those little round ones. See if it, any of them say what's on it. Mm. It says acoustic, which is probably the type of yarn. It looks like a four. Very pretty. I don't know if these would go together, but these could do a, uh, these might look good with a granny purse. And I do have a couple granny purses that only take like three squares. Something like this might look good in, with the granny and then the strap. Because I do know a couple people that might like those. Okay, and here's another one. And this one has yellow, green, and looks like black. Oh my good. And it's kind of shiny too. It's kind of hard to see it, but it is a little shiny. So there's one, five, 10, 15, 20. So there's 40. Okay. And the very last one. Okay. This B A three. This is called Gumball. It has brown and blue and white and turquoise. Very pretty. Um, self striping. So this could be something that makes a pattern. Um, that's a three, it's a three, and each one has 230 meters on it, and it's acrylic. Two, four, six, eight, 900 meters in this bag. It's a lot, so that's four. So, that is all the yarn. Let me count them up. Okay, 170 balls of yarn. And the yarn cost $139, so I'll say $140 for the yarn. Echo, what's 140 divided by 170? 140 divided by 170 is approximately 0 0.8235. Okay, rounded. <laughs> 82 cents a ball without shipping, okay? Now, we add the shipping, and Echo, what's 263 divided by 170? 263 divided by 170 is approximately 1.5471. $1.55 a ball. So, you know, the... um. When people sell the ice yarn on this side after they've purchased it, they're selling it for way more than $2 a ball. So it, if, if you have the means to do this, this is a great way to build up a stash. And it's, I know it's painful. It is painful to see 120 three dollars shipping when your yarn's hundred and thirty nine dollars it's painful but just look your yarn went from 82 cents to dollar 55 that's cheaper than we can get it that's like um that's like clears at hobby lobby okay 
but this is yarn nobody else has. People don't get this unless they buy it from ICE or buy it buy it from somebody who bought it from ICE. Or you get it in a giveaway or you get it in a mystery box. So, yeah, that is my ICE haul. And I haven't bought any other yarn anywhere else. Not that I haven't tried, but I don't pay full price. And I've been looking and I'm not going to the yarn stores right now because I have other things I want to do. Since this new job changed, my finances are getting a little squirrely because um, I used to get free money for working weekends and now I don't work the weekends. So I don't get that free money for showing up. And so I have to kind of see where it's going to land, <laughs> where I need to throw the money at and how much short I'm going to be. So, yeah. So this was my big splurge. I'm not going to be buying any more yarn. I have plenty for winter. I still have plenty for mystery boxes if anybody wants one. If you're one of my regulars in my uh, mystery yarn challenge, send me an email and we'll work something out through PayPal. It's $30 a box, including shipping for two and a half pounds plus a free gift from Bath and Body Works. A product, full-size product from Bath and Body Works and a uh, two and a half pound box or bag of mystery yarn for $30. Okay, that includes shipping. And you can do that with me directly if you're part of my mystery challenge because um, Etsy charges fees and everything. So it's cheaper for both of us if we just do it this way you don't have to pay tax and I don't have to pay fees win-win so okay um don't just send me money because my email is different for my PayPal than it is for my um YouTube account that's different I have two different ones because I get so much crap in my other account I can never see anything so okay thanks for watching this I still have some more taste testings coming up and um, a bunch of packages went out today. The only one I still have left to go out right now is Robin's. And it's because it's her Centro and I still got to find a box to put it in. I don't want it to break because I have to pack it really good so it doesn't break because it's plastic. So, And she knows she's expecting it. Um, but everything else went out today. Tammy's cup went out. Um, Donna's package went out, three mystery yarn packages went out, and was that it? I had, yeah, that was it. I had one, two, three, four, five. I had five packages. Yeah, that was it. They all went out today. I took them to the post office with me, scanned them. So if you check them, if you check your informed delivery, it'll say it's coming to people who are expecting packages. Okay. All right. It's been nice talking to you today. What do you want? Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I can see you behind my head. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Are you ready for bed? What is it you want? Are you hungry? <laughs> Animals are so funny. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Hang on, hang on, I gotta stop this. There we are.